Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we will do the input on our application that we have created. And for this little example I have set up, all you do is press A and it changes the box to green. Fun! Okay, so here we are with our code left over from last time. And if you have noticed, it's nice and dark. If you want that, all you have to do is go to Window, Preferences, I believe it would be under General, Appearance, and there you go. You can select the theme to dark. But besides the point, let's get on with input. And basically, if you don't know what input is, well, here you go. All you do is press F. And there you go, you just input F onto the computer. That's that's basically what it is, in case you didn't know. GLFW has a function for us, so we don't have to get down to the nitty-gritty and do all that boring stuff. And the function is GLFW get key. Yeah, that's the function. Now the point is, we put this above glfw pull events. No reason really, I that's what I do. Uh, I don't know, Let, let's see what happens. glfw get key. And this is also another good thing. The variables we have to pass is, of course, our window. And, you know, a, a key variable. It'd be a number, but GLFW has everything we need. And if you have imported it with the static, you should be able to do GLFW underscore key. And it should give you a long list of keys you can use. Now I'm just going to use A. And that'll be it. And I want to see what happens if you do it. Because I was always taught to use it before GLFW pull events. Let's see what happens. So, oh, why is caps lock on? Oh, it's in. Here's another good thing. This, of course, returns an integer, which with Java, it can't be converted to a Boolean for some reason. Really, all you have to do is test if it's equal to GL true. That's it. So let's try it out. Now the console ain't showing up. I think I could just... Hmm. Show... I'll have to see where the console is. I will be back. Okay, I'm back. All you have to do is press Alt, Shift, and Q. It, never mind. Oh, Alt, Shift, Q, C. I didn't think it, the keys worked like that. Hmm. There's the console. All right. Got that out of the way. Now if you press J, or not J, A, there we go. It works. So apparently you don't need it above GLFW pull events, but I'm going to put it up there anyways. And it should work the same. Does it work the same? Yes, it does. So now that's our input. We can do plenty of cool things with this. So we can actually set up some temporary variables here. Just, just do uh, float x equals 0. 
And instead of system dot out that print line, we can just do x plus equals zero point zero zero one f or whatever your computer handles it slow with. You'll have to justify the value, is all I'm saying. And under the x, I'm just going to do plus x. And do that for all of the vertex. Now when we run, it should be moving to the right when I press down A. Yeah. You could also change color, which I will show you right here. So instead of having X, I'll just do color red. That'll be the red color. Have that start at 1. And then we'll have a blue color. And we'll have that set to 0 at the start. So under the colors, I can put color red and color blue. And let's get rid of all these other colors here because we're only going to be using one. Now when we run, we should only get a red box. And that's true. So go ahead and put that else, else statement on your if, so that way if the key is not being pressed, it's just going to go with this else statement here. So if the key is being pressed, I'll change color red to let's go with 0 0.25 and color blue to 1. And then else color blue to 0 0.25 and color red to 1. So now we got our I want to say pinkish. And then when we press A, it should be a blue. Let go, press, let go. Wee oo wee oo wee oo. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all you need about input. Yep, that pretty much all you need to know about input. You could also do other things instead. Like you could do glfw get mouse button and do our window variable. And this is actually quite easy. You don't need to use mouse button one. If you want to use left click, it'll be zero. If you want to use right click, it'll be one. If you want to use the button in the middle where you click down the scroll wheel, that'll be two etc. So I can just do zero or something. And then of course I'll set the colors to these. And you're also going to need the GL true equal to GL true. See now we can click anywhere and yeah and that is our input let's let's go ahead and just end it more properly I guess I can say not properly but end it with uh, I don't know where I'm going with this anyways I'm just going to do glfw close no destroy window and I'm going to change the key up here to escape yes now we can press escape and bye bye I hope you enjoyed this video and in 
the next video, we'll probably go over more on a little more on input. I I don't know. We'll see. This video was supposed to be about matrix, but I decided to push that off because of deprecated features. So we'll see. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.